Hey everyone. So a few weeks back I was riding my Dharma uh, up to the Old Pacific Highway um, at, uh, up north in New South Wales. I was travelling on the motorway and the Dharma um, felt like it was only running on one cylinder. So I um, pulled over just to have a quick look and we had I had oil engine oil just pouring out of the um, exhaust. It was that much of it. It actually loosened off the exhaust nut. It was just coming out the side. So I managed to nurse the thing home and um, wasn't sure what it was, what the issue was. But I spoke with my I spoke with my mechanic, and he said um, most likely it's one of the valves has had it or it's worn too far. So what we're going to do today, we're going to um, remove the remove the top end. So it'll involve taking I've already taken the tank off, but I'm going to have to remove the carb, which is just um, two bolts. We're going to move that out of the way. Take the take the um, this cover off and this cover off. Line it up the top dead centre, and then um, we'll be able to remove the um, the rest of it. Uh, what we need is um, an Allen key, a 22 mil uh, socket, uh, a paint marker, and a spanner for the um the carb and the um bolts here so i'll get all them together and um we'll go from there so we're going to take the um the carb off uh, we're just going to undo it uh it's two bolts uh, two, two bolts two nuts sorry uh in a calver spot as typical ducati you just got to do it very slowly, little by little. I've already undone the other side just to save a bit of time. Unfortunately, I've strained my back a little bit, so it's just a little bit sensitive at the moment. So everything gets done slowly. It's a pain in the ass, but that's just life. It's life when you get older, injuries. That comes off. Just put that off to the side so it's out of the way. All right. Next, we're gonna undo. Oh, they're on tight. Taken off for a while, but I feel it. Well, they've used some sort of lock to hold it in. All right, there we go. There's the first one's done. Now the this one leads up to the tachometer, so there's a little um, washer, washer, oh yeah, um, just get an oil pan, there will be oil in this, in this, and when it comes out there, I expect a bit of oil to come out, and also there's a little um, spacer, um, which helps drive the, um, the tachometer, I'll take that off very carefully. And yeah, so we pack up. Little drive sits on there. It goes back on. Now, so always be ready to catch oil with these things. They love spewing oil out everywhere.
Ah, good. Alright, so I just gave it a quick clean out so I can see the little marks on the bevel, <coughs> on the gear, sorry. Now to turn them, I originally thought you need to, I wasn't sure how to do this, but I was since told you can, um, you get a 22mm socket, 23, uh, 22, place on this one here and you can actually turn it. So we're going to give that a go. Let's put out a gear. You need, you need the bike in neutral. There we go, it should be neutral. Anyway, so you'll know soon enough you'll go to turn it in the um, where it um, It'll be a really hard job to turn. Uh, I've got this white marker uh, picked up quite cheaply. Um, I'm going to use that to mark uh, the um, the little um, there's little uh, dots on the there's little dots on the gears. Um, I'm going to mark them so I can see them a lot easier. So when I do turn it, I'll be able to. Um, Makes, just makes uh, getting it uh, in the position a lot easier. Oh, beautiful. Now we'll get a trusty torch and we'll just find those markings. Right, so I'm going to mark it there and there's a spot just in there. the other spot anyway. So now we've done that, give it a turn. Apparently on the fourth turn. It 
it should line up. Torch will help with this. You just keep turning it when that. Ooh, there we go. It's all we're looking for. You can see the torch has shined. That's straight up, and they've lined up. So that's where it should be. Apparently. We'll check if the bottom ones are lined up. Yep, they're lined up pretty good. So in theory, um, we've, that should be a top dead center and that one's about halfway. Uh, we're going to undo the four bolts. Um, uh, you can't, one, two, three and four. And we should be able to lift that out. Nuts haven't been undone in a very long time, so just gonna give them a couple of knocks, hoping that will um, dislodge them enough. And we're just gonna go through the slow process of undoing them. Tains do not make stuff easy to get to, but we are trying to avoid taking the motor out. So once this is off, they'll be getting boxed up and sent to my mechanic who will then forward it onto a specialist to measure all, check all the tolerances, um, probably have to re replace all the all the valves. If they're um, on, on the, this one, I'll have to do the top ones as well, but uh, that might be a bit later. Right. So I'll go down to the bottom diagonal. I don't get comfy to do this because back's a bit sore. Oh. She did all in a bad position. <laughs> all right, so I've loosened the four bolts off. Um, they can't come all the way out, which is a pain in the ass. So we're just going to slide that forward like that. Then we're just going to undo them by hand. And hopefully once they're... Um, once they're off, we'll be able to take the head clean, the head right off. Um, probably wouldn't hurt to renew some of these, replace them with something um, a bit better. Yeah, probably give them a good clean, clean out. Uh, we'll see. So according to the manual, and also my mechanic. You can take the head off on the the bottom cylinder, that can come off, but the head on the top, if you need to take that off, it needs the motor needs to come out or drop down. So that's gonna be a big job later on. Anyway. So. Uh, man the truth. See if this comes off. Look at that. Hmm. 
Hmm. Looks pretty nasty in there. Um, but I don't know. I'll give that to the experts. Anyway, uh, that's that's a head off the um, the dama. What we might do, we might um might cover that up. Give it a clean, give all that a clean. And um might even put all the I'll put all the nuts back on. But I might even I might even replace them all, clean them up. Definitely replace the washers. You don't lose those. Anyway, that's um that's the that's gonna get sent off to the experts to look it over. Yeah, nice. Alright, got through that not too bad. Um, difficulty level, um, uh, not overly difficult. Um, just mostly undoing things, lining up the um, reference um, notches. Once you do that, it's pretty much uh, pretty fine. Um, this is my first attempt uh, removing a head of a, um, any sort of motor, so it's quite a learning curve for me. Um, We'll have a quick look at it. I'll get the torch on so we can see. You can see it looks quite nasty in and around there. I don't know if you can see that. Had quite a lot of oil um, built up. Uh, not sure what the um, what the prognosis is going to be. And then same in the cylinder. That looks quite nasty. So I'll probably have to pull that out and clean it. Um, I'll speak to my mechanic and he can guide me until uh, give me the proper advice. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I've tidied up the majority of it. Um, all that's left to do now, all that's really left to do now is um, have a celebratory um, port drink. Um, cheers. Oh, fantastic. Um, the head will get it sent off to the experts. Um, once it comes back, I'll do another video putting it on, um, just showing you what issues I had or how hard it is. And then hopefully that, that fixes the old girl and I've got to ride it again. It'd be nice to have um, one from two Ducatis back on the road. As you can see, the S2's in uh, engines out and it's off, um, they're pulling it down uh, as we speak. Uh, the, the idea was the Dharma was uh, I was meant to ride that daily till the S2 was um, on the road. Then the Dharma was going to get pulled down or sold, depending on how I felt. Probably pulled down. I've had the bike for over 10 years now. Anyway, on that note, uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next vid.